Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Slay the Spire Downfall. It's Champ Day. I, uh, I'm a big fan of Champ Day. I don't know where you guys are at on Champ Day nowadays, but I like a good Champ Day as much as the next. Uh, unless the next does not like Champ Day. So, what are we gonna do? Do we have, uh... We don't have options. Oh, that's right. That's right. We did the thing where we skipped so that we could get the extra unlocks at the expense of this. I would say that I think that that's the, uh, the better way of doing it. Until we, until we get the card unlocks, I think it makes sense. Uh, so basically, do we have anything... I mean, there's a real world where we could go, like... Bap, 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 get double, uh, double elites killed? Is that something I want to do? Sure. It's a little weird. It's a little wild, but, uh, I'm a little weird. I'm a little wild. I'm gonna recall, because I don't think that, uh, I particularly need to go for any of that stuff right off the bat. Curse with regret. Do we have a shop? We might get one. We're gonna kind of, uh, blitz through this early stuff here. Every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain a block. I actually like that enough to take... Lose 12 max HP, get a sharpened fragment, always get a crystal shiv. Uh, I guess the question is, do we have the silent? No? Sure. I think that could work. This character seems to uh, to get a lot of strength. Oh my god, You're, are you for real? We get to do it? You're letting me do it? We actually get to go all the way down there without getting uh, getting stopped. All right, I still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> like, I don't know what our build is. So, um... Uh... God. This is three damage. Three extra damage for no cost. On a no-cost card. I think it's pretty usable. It's kind of like a background sort of a card where it doesn't take a lot of attention. Uh, happy flower. Bye-bye, mister. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Who cares, man? We don't need to do any of this. Defensive stances finisher grants five more block. I think that might be a new thing. All right, here we go. First first card. I, was, I say oh, <laughs> all the way down here, first card, but it's just like, you know, we've basically not played yet. Trigger two times without exiting your stance finisher. That's not bad. So we could get, uh, what is it? You normally get like five, 10 block? So that, that would be... Gain 30 block exhaust if we're in defensive stance. Otherwise, it would ga be gain 2 strength uh, exhaust for 1 cost. That's not bad at all. Uh, what's the upgrade? Not exhaust? 3 times. Okay. 6 block, 10 counter. If your counter is used this turn, gain repost. Which is, oh, which is a card. Deal damage equal to the amount of counter use. I will say we have not played that build yet. Like, I have not done that. So I'm kind of curious about what a counter build looks like. I was going to say, we're not going to get all the way down there. We could have done this, that, though. That's actually probably the better call. But I thought we would maybe get a little bit more mileage out this way. Okay, so if we're going to be going for a little bit of a defensive build, what do we do here? Trigger your current stance's skill bonus four times exhaust. That would give us the... Um, not repose, give us the uh, counter. Enter defensive, gain six block, increased by vigor. I feel like is a fun idea. I've played Rising Strike before, I, th I think. Gain two decks at the end of each turn, gain three block. Twelve block, two counter, and a blur. I think that hold firm is going to be pretty important. Um, we have played like a we have played a defensive focused deck before with this, but we've not played um, a counter counter focused build. If we can try and make that happen, I would be I'd be quite interested. I'll do it. I think it's you know we've we've used it before, but it was not the star. The star was the shield throw. Thank God I don't have to fight these guys. But now we are about to start the game for real. All right, at the start of your turn, three damage all enemies. Target enemy gains one strength, gain 12 vigor. Uh, if our counter did damage based off of how much they did, I'd be a little bit more interested. Okay, we've added a couple defensive cards. I feel like an aggressive one is a, is due. Nine damage, put a card from your discard pile on the top of your draw pile, I think will be really nice. It's deck manipulation and... Ooh. 
hold on, hold on. 19 counter, it's pretty good. Crystal Shiv, shall I? I guess we can go for that, go for that. We do 15 damage now. Okay, I feel kind of strong. Guys, I feel kind of strong. I enter the fight and I'm ready to blast, man. Deal three damage. This turn, your skill bonus effects are increased by two. Oh. By three. That's interesting. I've definitely not used it before. I have added a decent amount of defense cards. I think I can experiment with it. So we can go for that. Headbutt. I guess it should have... Yeah, it automatically picked that card. Because I had nothing else in there. Dang, man. Not bad. Execute. Execute. Alright, what the heck did we do? Uh, it... Man, strike, strike deck. Finisher-ish deck. It's not that those are bad, I'm just... I'm not about them right now. If we went there, we would upgrade. What would I upgrade? 17, 16. That's pretty good. That's interesting. Perry, Perry's kind of expensive. That's my issue right here, is I'm going to need... I'm desperately going to need more mana. Desperately. Like, I may take a, a relic that would otherwise be a little bit too much of a sacrifice in order to get four mana right now. I may, I may, I may. It depends what it is. There's a couple I just will never take, probably, until I'm better at the game. Uh, I don't know. Also, I wonder, a qu question in the comments. Is there ever, is there a relic that you will not take under any circumstances ever? Like, that you think is just actively very bad in in basically every circumstance I do want to know that I'm curious about it I think that hold firm like this being like our big power card it's fine it is interesting to me and upgrading it okay hold on what stance are we in we're in berserker Hmm. Hmm. I wish we were in another stance. Six block. I mean, it is a skill. We can basically block all of it, I guess. And just not go for the other thing there. There's a full full block, more or less. We get the kill there, but then we're going to get vulnerable because of the order of operations, so it's kind of weird. Okay, we'll get the Vigor. Oh, there's Repost. What does this do? It's The damage is based off of what? Oh, okay. It does damage equal to the amount of counters. That's so good. And then it exhausts. That's really good. So that's 13. Nineteen, that's a lethal. Good, 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 good. Twenty-three damage? My god. Whenever you're vulnerable, you only take 25% more attack damage instead of 50. Actually going to be really good, too. 9 block, 9 counter finisher. Finisher getting us that extra block. Also, it is another skill. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I would love to be... I would love if we just made a no you deck. Like a... Actually, I am going to send it back. Man, what the hell? What the hell? This deck. Man, every other character is like... Oops, not what I meant to do. Is kind of just like... They start out, and they're kind of eh. Uh, in Act 1, but the champ starts out swinging, man. Um, another back step is tempting. It's 
tempting. I like it because I'm going to, I guess I'm skipping the potion. I like it because then I can try and eventually remove defense, which I would otherwise feel kind of awkward about doing. I don't have blur, so this doesn't matter. Said I'm going to go about this like that. Prevent the next time. I'm also really happy to see the defects because if we do want to fight Neo today, which is just a big question mark, uh, the defects buff on Neo is really bad compared to the others. Like, um, whatever, it, whatever it is, demon form. The demon form buff is is bad. Like, it's terrible. It's so rough, and so is the uh, so is the Watchers. So if if we can fight the silent and the defect this run, I might go for the boss. If we fight silent, defect, hermit, I will probably go for Meow. Otherwise, I'm gonna, depending on if we get the ironclad and the uh, the watcher, I may say no. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Kind of want to get blur. Okay, so we have lots of block, lots of blur. Also, um, the shiv really helps us get ornamental fan. Like, a lot. I do not have blur. I don't need to blur. We got our void fine. Not too worried here. We're going to do 41 damage to the face. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, parry. Six block, five block. We're going to get 11 block and a little bit of counter. Oh, God. We're getting voided. Ah. You dirty boy, you dirty boy. I'll tell you what, let's just have a little fun. Neat. I don't know what exactly happened there, but I'm happy about it. I'm gonna get the 13 damage repost here. So it really is just kind of like double the damage of your repost is what that is. Or for, of your parry. Could have done that different. We definitely could have done it different. Um, we don't have lethal. So we'll just make it so he, <laughs> he kills himself. Okay. All right. I like this run. At the start of every turn, gain a Vigor for every three Vigor spent last turn. Then do the same for counter. Choose a card in hand. Increase its block by eight for this combat. Exhaust. Oh, but with headbutt, that's going to be really interesting. This this will take a lot to get online. This will not. It'll just take a little bit of luck. Alright, alright. I quite literally set myself up for this. Um, I set myself up for this. Here's the thing. I, maybe just remove Chain Lash. Maybe end up removing a defensive shout in favor of back steps. We have a very expensive two... Like, Three two costs right now, and getting it on the first boss, I'll do it. I don't love it. Velvet Choker, I think is, I think it's very much a sometimes food, but I'm going to do it regardless. 
I'll upgrade Enchant Shield to zero. I know that that's not, that doesn't play well with Velvet Choker per se, but it's an exhaust card. It only happens once. All right. Yeah, Crystal Shiv thing is going to be kind of a, eh, going to be kind of awkward. That six, okay. It's five. All right, just just for one for reference there. Where are we at? Things we don't always have to buff up one really gnarly move. That helps us out a good deal. Yeah, I do not like that we have already procked Velvet Choker once. That's just a really bad sign. <laughs> That's just a really bad sign. Okay, I'm alive. I'm fine. Keep in mind, gain two decks at the end of each turn, gain three block. I think it's a, a great call, honestly. Headbutt is tempting. Headbutt is very tempting. Ooh, Headbutt is so tempting, actually. Just trying to uh, make it so we actually have a very specific situation that keeps happening. You can gain the counter. Counter. Sure. Sure. 22. Don't mind if I do. I mean, that's not too bad. As long as we don't, we don't want to go for card draw necessarily. And if we're not going to go for card draw, then I'll tell you what. It's going to be very, very nice to have um, headbutts. Okay. Watch this, though. Watch this, though. Yes! 42 damage! Pretty good. Headbutt, and then we can theoretically like keep on holding firm. Like there's no point to do so right now. I just wanted to show off my thought process of what I'm gonna plan on doing here. Is that a choker? Yep. No, energy. More energy than this is gonna be kind of like a meh. I cannot enter. Yeah, I can't enter Berserker. No cards with block on it. That's kind of <laughs> loud. Wow. Pretty good amount of damage, though. Hey, who cares? <laughs> there is no other turn. There is no next turn. Fan of knives. Nah. Seven damage to all enemies trigger your skill bonus for every enemy hit. I don't want stance stance. I finally now know exactly what it does on immediate sight read. Rope a dope is unfortunately not really something we can do here. Hmm. Yeah, drawing cards is not not wildly relevant. Do I ditch defensive shout? Like, it's a good card and I like it, but also. Do I ditch it now? I don't know if I ditch it now. I'm going to ditch a uh, plain defend. Let's try it out. I never go for it. I never go for it. Trigger your current stance of skill bonus four times. Exhaust. This would go well with a deck of, like, Chain Lash. That could be fun. 12, uh, 15 damage to all enemies, gain 10 vigor. I'm going to skip this first one. I don't need another back step, I don't think. Deal 8 damage, defensive combo, get, get 6 counter on a 6 block. This is already upgraded. That's very good for us. It 
If I could remove all the strikes from my deck, I would say Precise Thrust is fantastic. So I guess I'll keep it in mind. And we will be brutal. The first time you play a combo each turn, reduce return it to your hand, it costs zero until played. Uh... Okay. I don't have a lot of combos. And innately, innately it doesn't really go with my Velvet Choker. All right. All right. Was that worth the price? Eh, eh, meh, meh. Maybe. Okay, I'm trying to meet in the middle here. We'll take a decent chunk of damage. We've got seven block there. Oh, thank God. Perfect. Perfect. Pretty, pretty solid here. I need a lot of card removal, like a lot of card removal, but this is relatively solid. We kill next turn. There's no real big deal here. Again, Chain Lash could be a fun deck. No. Could be a fun deck. We got defensive. Okay. Good. I really wish this refreshed that, you know? Like, I wish this refreshed your defensive stance. I understand why it doesn't, because I guess it would probably be too strong, but too strong. Here's the thing. Enchant shield on hold firm. Pretty good. Pretty good. 57 block, blur, counter. Hit me, ding dong. See what you got. Backstab, thrust, blast, blast. This deck is wild. Choose one of two cards which enter a stance. Cause zero this turn. Actually, I feel like that might be more uniquely beneficial to us. Deal damage equal to your counter to all enemies and then lose half your counter. Uh, yeah. Wait. Wait, would two parries give... Oh, wait. Would two parries give us... Right, this kind of is a dis-synergy with parry, and it's a zero cost. It's good, don't get me wrong. Like, this is very good. But we actually don't generate lots of counter. I think a second parry is just really good. Imagine if we play two on the same turn. Imagine? 16 counter. I mean, that's pretty good. That's 12 extra damage across both cards. I'll upgrade the first one. You've been, you've been here longer. Um, I'm going to skip it because how relevant is that going to be for us specifically? What's our boss, by the way? Watcher. Just Watcher's fine. If the next boss is an Ironclad, then I will fight Meow. Just ironclad, it's kind of fine. It's just the fact that the way they stack on each other sucks. Alright. Since we have headbutt, it's a little bit more in our, like, fine if we focused hard on a specific card. In defensive, we are in defensive. Okay. Free shiv. I mean, with kunai, we probably would have been all right, but hey. I'll just do this at this point. Uh, 
All right, swap us over, swap us over again. Block, block, or black, block, black, 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 black. All right, this is the thing. We finally get to do this. This is what it's all about. Bye. Whenever an enemy dies, get an energy draw card. Sure, it's fun. Like, I'm not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not going to be, uh, we're not going to be able to use it as much as I'd probably like. Give me money. What is this? The first time you enter each stance, or the first time you enter each stance, each combat, each combat, Defensive gain two decks, lose a strength. This seems kind of bad. It's kind of just, well, not really. It's sort of like gain a dex and a strength. Gain one dex, one strength. Fine. I'll give it a shot. I also don't know what this is. I assumed it was, yeah, I was going to say, I assume it's just uh, me, but scary. Okay, um, hit me with a womp, a womp, and a womp. It's going to be a pr pretty big amount of damage. That's a scary riposte. Sure. 16, and it does 16. It's just, it's not great. It's not the ideal way of doing it. Enchant shield on parry, though. Let's go. Do it blur? Nope. Uh, get back out. Armor, armor. It's worth. We're gonna take eight. It's pretty scary. Oh no, we don't because he dies there. Oh, we also get the courier. Sure, sure, sure. Explosive potion, maybe. Cool. All right, we we want to remove. Like removal is so important. We just want it next turn. It'll be better next turn. Berserker. Let me just backstep. Okay, we still have not actually got Velvet Choker blasted. Okay. Obviously, we're doing that. 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 Here's the vel. Oh, here's the velvet choker blast. Um, what do we want? Sure. Ah, I thought, I thought there was a chance. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's not worth it. Obviously, we're not going to fire the potion now. I thought that maybe it'd be like, do X damage. Nah, didn't work. Obviously, the rope of the rope is tempting, but how, how much can I really use that extra energy in two cards when I'm Velvet Chokered? 
They don't have weak. Six damage gain, two strikes. They cost zero and trigger skill bonuses. That's quite literally, obviously, just for a strike deck. Pretty easy peasy. Yeah, basic strikes can go. I would trade them for bites in a heartbeat. I don't hate Bob, Bob and Weave. I don't hate that, but I'm not going to do it. Pass. Yeah. I'll remove it later. We need we need our deck to be thinner. That's just what we need. Stance defensive. Okay. Yeah. I wish we had blur, but I... Well... No. There's a lot of two-cost cards. That's just... Eh. I'll be happy enough with this repost. Oh, we should keep that in mind. Whoever's in the front is going to be more likely to be killed. Because of the parry. So you're dead. No, I didn't mean to. Okay, well, whatever. All right. These guys really suck, so being able to get through them damageless sounds just really nice to me. Hit me. Hit me! Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, that's actually really nice. Okay, Bob and Weave, but it's already upgraded, though. Tell you what, we have Black Knight's Helm, I say yes. The fact that it's already upgraded is the deal, the deal maker. Okay, we focus on you, you're in the front. Okay, now we actually do want to, now we want to kill you. Why do we have so freaking much? Oh my god. Do we have parry? Is parry on? We did not. I do have to know. I have to know. Do we get two? Ah, well, the world may never know. I'm pretty sure we get two, though, right? Precise thrust is tempting, especially now that I got rid of my triple. Good. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, did it just automatically pick this because we only had one option? I think that might be the case. Why do we draw? Why did we draw? Gremlin horn? Gremlin horn. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing out buttons right now, because we have uh, 99 armor. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this... Ooh. Wait. 
Wait. Headbutt skillful dodge. Headbutt skillful dodge is actually what it's all about, man. Give me back a uh, headbutt. Okay. In Berserker. I don't really want to be in Berserker. Oh, these are all ethereal now. I don't really want to be in Ethereal right now. Or, but you know what I meant. The 43, not bad. Buff that specifically up, I guess. For later. Get out of the stance, get a strength. about to enter wild mode, isn't she? Nope. Oh, this is reverse wild mode. Yeah, no headbutt. Okay. Velvet Choker is not going to cause a problem here. looking, but not scary in practice. You have intangible. But theoretically, that's what's about, right? Might be a little... Eh. Might be a little eh. We'll draw another. Theoretically, we get another headbutt, right? No. Nah. Okay, so we have to be in a defensive stance. We have to be in a defensive stance, which we could have been. Gotcha. All right, I mean, we kill. It doesn't matter. But we have to be in a defensive stance for that to get upgraded. It's not that... It's not that bad either, though. Oh, wait. Oh, I do like it. Oh, I do like it. But Velvet Choker. But hold firm for zero. Hmm. Hmm. Don't really need... Energy. I'm also pretty satisfied with my deck at this point. Like, I kind of just want to remove cards. The Hermit. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll fight Neo. I'll, I'll fight Neo. It's going to be uh, annoying, but I'll do it. I want guaranteed card removal. Boy, I wish I could get... Okay. Well, I'll try this out. We'll try this out. Expensive, skillful, lump. Yeah, I think we just um, start neglecting to play some shivs sometimes, but then they eat our draws. They become dead draws. It's kind of not the best. Does that work? How do I have so much armor? How did I do so much damage? What happened? What actually happened? There's some pretty straightforward choices here. We're obviously remove the curse. Very good. 
Remove the curse. The second skillful dodge kind of like defeats the point. I can absolutely play Iron Fortress now. Absolutely, I can play Iron Fortress now. I could probably play Shaper's Blessing too. Nah. I just beefed it, didn't I? Wait, no, we're still good. We're still good. We have to go. We have to go right. We have to go right. We have to go right. If we want, if we want to fight Nia, which, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I guess it's fine. Back thing. Pretty good. Are we in defensive? This can be. If we got some kind of buff every every time we swapped stances right now, like oh my god. Uh enchant crown, we can make something free. I don't know. I guess I feel like that card's not that it's not it, <laughs> It's not that it's bad, it's just not that good. You know what? Screw it. Sure. We want to get the buff before moving over to defensive. Alright. The fact that we have not been Velvet Choker blasted this run is is really nice. Okay. Could have gotten a little bit more if we chain lashed first. Yeah, it's just building with it in mind right away. Oh boy. Alright, there it is. Dar she blows. Just make sure we play it. Okay, what are we at? Four or five. We want it to be our last card that we play. It does a lot more that way. We're actually going to take a hit. Indefensible. I almost want to do it just to assert dominance. I'm, gonna I'm, taking, I'm taking a hit. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be okay. don't have that. We actually don't have the mana. 25. Alright. Potion belt, sure. Berserker style. I'm not gonna say it's useless. Okay, go right! Wow. Wow. Remove. 50 souls. We have more than enough money and nowhere to spend. Spend it. Money is irrelevant. Lose happy flower to gain a rare card. I could probably actually do that. I don't know if I want to. I'll just pass. Truthfully, truthfully, the relic... Oh, man. The relic I want more than anything is the one where it's just remove X cards. Like, remove <laughs> remove a certain amount of cards. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's the first time we ever got Velvet Choker, but that's because of Gremlin Horn. 
That's understandable. I mean, you're gonna die. Oh, God. Do I parry? We do a parry. It's at least... Man. Extreme overkill. Absolutely extreme overkill, but... What are you gonna do? Alright, eight. I would love to get that up to 19 to kill. Got a choker, just pay attention. Okay. Probably should have crystal shivved here instead. Not that big of a deal, though. Stance defensive. Sure. I don't have blur, so I don't really want to exit my stance. I'm not going to kill either. Okay. I don't want you to break my... <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Just didn't want you to hit my parry. Okay. Hold firm. We got it. We, like, really got it. We, like, really got it. Hit me. I would do 80 damage to you next turn. If you end your turn in no stance, draw an additional card. Nah. Nah. What am I using more often? Uh, I mean, I'm using headbutt, but, like, the upgrade's kind of eh. Not particularly exciting. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Well, I'll probably be playing it, so... Go to the right! Go to the right! Just do it! Defensive stance. We're in it. Good. He's gonna... Counterblast himself. Alright. Alright. That's a repost kill if we want it. Let's think. Ooh. We're going to get Velvet Chokered. Yep, 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 yep. It's only happened, if it only happens twice in a run, like uh, maybe three times, and it's off the back of um, Gr Gremlin Horn meme dreams, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Oh my god. I can't, man. Oh, we actually can't. We're not, you're not attacking me this turn. I could have. I could have had 257 damage blasts. Screw you guys. I don't know. I'm just I'm just playing cards right now. I'm just throwing them out there. I'm really just throwing them out there at this point. It's a kill. Bottle. I'm not going to say the circumvent's bad. I just don't feel like it. Let's 
Okay. Relatively all right setup turn. And yet. I will not let you. I will not let you do this damage to me. Oh, that parry though. Sad. This guy sucks. Yep. Two headbutts going at the same time there. Not bad. Of course, we're not going to get parried this turn, but we can, like, we can set it up right so that we will. Should have done that first. It would have been better. But then we're going to get the cards. Yeah, it just doesn't, it just, like, barely works. Okay. Play it all, play it all, play it all. It just barely works against this guy in specific. Oh, never mind. We stacked up to 84. Uh, just kidding. Alright. Alright. I didn't realize I didn't realize that it got that high. <laughs> Whoops. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Three, three. Meh. Eh. Fine. Not gonna really matter too much. These guys do lots of damage. Dead. We got one down. Whenever I see three fools like this in a row, I'm like, I gotta kill them at the same time, because I think of the other guys. Chance. Swap. Swap. More counter right now. Again. When you get Velvet Choker early enough, you can usually plan around it. The fact that we can plan around it with the Sharpened Fragments and not have our deck filled to the brim with uh, Crystal Shivs that we haven't played is great. Bye-bye. Stop hitting yourself. I say, I hope you're still attacking. I know he has a move that adds a curse to our deck, like a perma curse, which is very annoying. All right, so defensive mode. I feel like I didn't repost. Oh, no, I just didn't. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, don't, don't hit him again. Just don't hit him again. Just don't. Just don't. 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 I could, but I don't need to. All right. Impending doom, I don't think it'll be so bad. Parasite, where did this come from? Did we get parasited by that? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Is 
How about the strength? Okay, don't play the shiv. I don't really want the unending doom right now. Sorry, impending doom. Okay. Oh, awkward. Oh, awkward. Got enough armor, so just let this go. Oh boy. What do we headbutt? Oh my god. Hey, I don't think I headbutt anything. I, I really should have just not. Just make sure we're in defensive stance, even though we probably already will be. What? Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Man, they do 26 when you got both of them. Finally! Someone let me out of my cage! And now we can't do the whole thing here. That's a little annoying. Can't headbutt afterwards. Unless it's gonna be better to do this. No choker, so good. I'm gonna get rid of one of those things, which is fine. I think we still block it all, right? Yep. In fact, it's good. If we if we impending doom and we can handle it, it's actively good for us. So Alright. Another impending doom. Nice doubt, Dingus. How much parry? We got a lot of parry. Okay. What do I wait? What do I even care about? Uh, sure. Another impending doom on top of this. Boom, 70. We got repost. Get wrecked. Bye. That's the real impending doom. All right. <sighs> we're fighting, uh, yeah, who are we fighting? We're fighting. It's Watcher. Hermit, obviously, and uh, Defect. I think it. I think that combo is much less annoying. It's not that it's not annoying because it's a lot of curses. Our deck is going to be so unbelievably cursed. It's going to be so unbelievably fun, I'm sure. But, okay. Um, hey, let's move over quick. Starting out with that is nice. You get buffer... You give what? Vigor. It's just fine. I don't need more armor. Again, it's kind of like, it sort of works best to attack the person in front. It's kind of weird, though. So I don't know if I... Eh, I guess I'll do it. I'll, I'll get the rugged. I'm a... Our parry, it just, it does weird things. We gotta, we gotta play a little different. We gotta go for, it. like, if it's not that much worse to kill you first, then we should kill you first. Oh, this is not the way. This is not, this is not it. This is not it. Whoa! What the hell? This is annoying. This is really annoying. This is really annoying. 
annoying. What happened? How did that like that? That is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Oh, Hermit. Oh, Mr. Hermit. I must kill ye. You must die, please. Okay, headbutt should really help. Firm. Okay. Headbutt. Give me a give me a hold firm. Don't quite kill. It's fine. He didn't go for an attack here, it's not gonna really matter. Nobody's attacking me. Of course, nobody's attacking me on this turn. Um, ideally, get another parry. Okay, there's one rugged gone. That helps. I want to hit you again before uh, anything happens here. Okay, another hold firm. Very good. I mean, that we know. We, I don't know why I'm acting like it was a surprise, but. Okay, there's that. Good. We're going to do the full damage to. <laughs> to the back line. Okay. Um, it's most important we get hold firm for the blur. Hold firm for the blur. Okay, now you are still in the front. You do not get the blur. Boots with the blur. It's okay. We didn't need it, actually. So that's nice. I don't know. Blur is just unbelievably important on these boss fights. Feels like. I mean, yeah, they're getting really stacked up here. Understood. Okay. Should be a kill. It is. And we get the repose there. Do you have. Yeah, you have rugged still. We want to. Ideally, shiv, and then like a rinky dink attack. Okay, now we got repost if we want it, and I'm sure I do. What happened with? I must not have headbutt to did did. Weird. This is the last attack. This will do more, and it won't take us out of our stance. We had Velvet Choker. We had to keep it in mind. And guess what we did? And it was fun. Bad order. I just shouldn't have that card in my deck. That's the real cold hard truth. Okay. Everything except for like the worst RNG turn in history. And we were fine. You can no longer become weakened is so nice. I can't. No. no. I don't care about the max HP. We're not at max HP. All right, moment of truth. We have all of our stuff. 
We got all of our stuff. We have a headbutt. We have a headbutt and uh, skillful dodge. That's really interesting. Okay. Okay. I really want to leave the stance. So I won't. Okay, hello, yep, 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 yep. I guess we only had one card. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good, in fact. Very, very good. Very, very good. Don't mind if I do. Very, very good. Stop hitting yourself. I'm glad this is a not very wild turn for you. Literally just want that out of my deck at this point. There's the, there's the buffer. The buffer, it's in, don't get me wrong, it's annoying. And you know what's more annoying? The fact that the stinking, ah, God, I hate that he just, he just adds more and more. Uh, uh, okay, I guess we should have just not done that. This isn't working. There's just we we just draw way too many curses. We just draw way too many curses for Come on. This is too much. This is actually that's actually absurd. I have 3 voids in my draw pile now. You know what that means? It means I draw them all right now and I lose three energy and my hand is filled with voids. That is not fun. Not fun. Not fun. Not good. Not good. Very dumb. All right, now we get to go through normally, but you have all the blur, or all, not all the blur, the, uh, you know. There's 84 damage. Mm. Can't even break your armor. Okay, now I can start to do damage again. I now can start to do damage again. Okay. That's not gonna stay though, we don't have blur. Becomes what? 34. 34 and a curse. Don't know what the curse is. Done zero damage. We get to do 28 on the reflect at the very least. 24 times 3. Okay. Thought that might be the case. That is ideal. Probably should have done the decks up on that turn. That's my issue with that card is I never know when is the appropriate time to use it. Okay. Headbutt. Put that back. I want it. 
Okay. Shiv is free. We've got something going. We've got the blur, so we have 31 armor for this turn. He's doing 120 damage. Doing 120 damage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 90 damage. Just, 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 just. Do we try this one more time? I guess. I guess we'll try one more time. I literally don't know what else I could do, though, with this fight. It's just... The curses. The curses, man. They... There's so many. So many. What would I... What do I do different? What do I do differently? Just neglect skillful dodge, go for something else, parry? Just to like get it back in the headbutt chain here. More damage. Strength. What are we at? Velvet choker? Okay. Yeah, we'll try we'll try that out instead. But oof. So that must have buffed up this. Put it back. Put it back. All right. All right. I mean, that's a good start. We got the blur. No, we don't have blur. We didn't need blur. There we go. So theoretically, we get two of them. So that's... Should be 35... Yeah, 38 twice. Okay. That's something. It's a good turn to have it on. Just pay attention to Velvet Choker. We can play four more. One, two, three, four. I don't love it because we have garbage in our deck now for over there. But, yeah, that, see that. Ow. Because when that happens, you're just drawing from your deck at that point. Like, you're just drawing from, like, five cards. So, the timing of it, the timing of it is really awkward. Because it puts it into your draw pile. Doesn't put it into your discard pile. It really feels like the... That should at least go to your discard pile from the Hermit, right? So it's over here instead of just this? Three out of four of my next cards are curses? Um. I would rather have this be a status card. It's both now. Oh. Oh, it's both. It's just both. Oof. Okay. Don't have that many cards. for me. One of these days, we do have to go for the vulnerable. I just don't know when. I don't know, I don't know the right time to go for it. Okay. 
Okay, bring back Harry, I guess. 42 and it's all blocked because of the buffer. Uh -huh. Okay. What are we at? Three. Maybe I take the headbutt back so that I can get my blur. Honestly, who cares? Actually, just who cares? I think it'll be better to just go. Go ham here. Hold firm. Really good timing on that. Ugh. Ugh. I don't love this situation, but I don't know if we're, li we're gonna live until the time where it will matter anyways. Okay. We got rid of the, um, the buffers. There's a chance. No, oh, there's not. <laughs> All right. Um, I uh, I don't know how the math checks out on that. Just gonna hope. No, it doesn't. Oh, it just barely. That's actually cool. Oh my god, that's huge. That is so... It's so dumb that it matters so much, but it does. Okay. Here comes this, though, again. Yeah, more, more curses into my drop pile. 120 damage? We don't even care. It's more in our best interest to, um... Oh, God. To just take this hit. Should have done that first. Because it's, ir it's irrelevant here. It's just irrelevant. I can't do anything about that. We get the repost. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cal counterplay. Just counterplay it. <laughs> just counterplay it. <laughs> Just counterplay it, man! Why? Why? Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Just counterplay, forehead. AKA, have a, have a way to remove curses from your deck, and if you're not playing a character that has that, that you're just gonna have a bad time. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Alas, it was a fun deck, and then we fought Niao, and then it was less fun. But, hey, people want to see Niao, I'll show you Niao. There it is. There's the fight. <laughs> it's... Ouch, man, ouch. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Slay the Spire Downfall. If you would be sad to see the series go, you got to make sure you let me know. So comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!